I feel like I just got debated. Salt my hammies, dude. Salt my hammies, dude. Why is he starting new songs? What is he doing? What is going on? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, no, I didn't get debated. Nice. I wasn't really ready, but that's okay. Prime, hello? Prime, please make sure you have your tickets right for Laracon. If Prime does not get, I, we have weeks before we play basketball, he says, we've literally been talking in so many messages about, are you guys all ready? It's next week. We're getting really close. We got to have everything done. Yep. But all he does, yap, 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 and then not show up. Guys, imagine, imagine if I hadn't told him, imagine if I hadn't told him to shill. No theme songs? Uh, it should be. One sec, one sec, one sec. It's because I wasn't ready. I wasn't, pl I wasn't planning on streaming yet. I was waiting to do the, I was waiting to do the great yappening. I'll probably forget about with anth Anthropic Prime, but seriously, you should, can you tell me right now if, uh, if you have the right date for your actual flights? Prime, can you tell me? If you want entertainment, go so that I can clowns. know. Developers, developers, because developers, you made me really nervous. Developers, the key, the team's noise, yeah. Because what is happening? Sorry, dashboard is down right now. Scotty doesn't know. I'm thinking I had a meeting. We got him. We got him. Every, if you're a sub, you can get a theme song. Same day that I met. Pretty cool. Ashley. Russell's cat. Hey, thanks for the sub. Appreciate yeah, it. Properly tail recursive. Like, yeah. okay, Where, why is my activity? My why is everything broken? Like you'll go person, woman, man, camera, camera. <laughs> camera. How would you say your mental focus is? Oh, it's focused. <laughs> oh, it's focused. Did Prime already leave? Is he... The missile knows where it is at all times. Can he times. tell me? Can he confirm yet it or not? Where it isn't. Like, what is happening? Prime, you're making me so nervous. In case you didn't know, chats, let's just give a little bit of, um, of info. Get more subscribers. I'm trying, chat. I'm trying. Um, Here you go. Starting a coffee company only available via SSH. Asking Dax if we can play pickup at the random park for memes and content. Dax, what if we did a 5v5 basketball game? Now we're doing Null Star 2024. Doing a talk. We're going as the uh, basketball more like basket case. True. Like we are doing an actual thing. We're having a 5v5 game. We're going to play together. We're going to stream it. It's going to be funny, maybe good, but probably just funny. And Prime's also doing a talk. So, uh, like a real game. Streamed. We rented out a gym, everything. That's happening on Monday. Doing a talk a week late. From home. Yeah, you just wanted to call in, dude. Do we talk about playing basketball? Not simultaneously. All that in Prime isn't there. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Properly tail recursive. Like, Yo, thanks, yeah. Tomba. Oh, Campbell is actually my favorite. Prime is doing top and get the right plane tickets. That's what I'm saying. He didn't respond to me. He never replied. Do you have the right plane ticket dates? Okay, I just I messaged him again. What's the context of the title? Well, I was, I don't know what I'm going to work on today. I was going to work. I've been working on my C course. I don't know how much I want to stream it today. Um, I've got a C course coming for boot dev about memory management. Chess boxing. Exactly. That's kind of the goal, Arthur. Yeah. 
5v4. <laughs> we could work a little bit on the Odin game. I was also writing, um, I was writing some blog posts. Just had a classic intro. Exactly. That's a good one. Excuse me. Should work on a personal assistant app for Prime. Yeah. How to babysit Prime and other problems. Exactly. Does, does that say so you don't look like, that's what I'm saying. I'm messaging him right now. Prime's memory, 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 memory management. Well, we could, we do not want to do a course on that. I'm going to message him again. Do you have the wrong dates for real? Okay. Well, we'll find, we'll find out. <laughs> oh my goodness, chat. That actually, I like started sweating. <laughs> We've been planning so much stuff. For Laracon, for months. Uh, of course, he has the wrong dates. How is it possible? Laracon for Laravel. GC for Prime's Brain 1. I know. Oh my goodness, dude. Why is he going to make me so nervous? Didn't he get wrong tickets, wrong time to DEF CON too? Probably, yeah. What? Why would what? Why would you self promo? Hello. Had two quarter one all games yesterday. That's for sure. Made properly tail recursive like. Dude, I. Is actually, my favorite. I don't know. I want Prime to answer me. Larry Khan sounds awesome though. Just lots of people named Larry. Excelion, thank you. Um. True, yeah, that was on Thor, right? I don't think that was on Prime. Mods? Where are you at? Well, I could just permaban him. We'll give him one chance. For all the rig things? Yeah, Prime did rig a lot of things yesterday. Does he have that game uh, source available? Because I, uh, I wanted to look at this. What is what is Megacorp and Webflix? Oh, that's for boot dev. Not this either. It's it's under Vim with me. My goodness is that not just the most prime thing well i one time made a game so i'm gonna put a completely separate game inside of this game well that makes sense that makes sense prime that totally makes sense i can see where you're coming from God, he's making me so nervous he hasn't responded anything yet because i really wanted to read this he's not in chat i know I wanted to read this because I didn't know a ton of the rules. He says like, oh, it's a turn-based tower defense game, right? And then all of a sudden the turns are only when the creeps are running. It's on a different branch. Even better. <laughs> what are all these branches? What is happening? Oh, he's doing a bunch of goofy stuff with... Um, He does, he's never cleaning up his branches after he uses graphite. <laughs> Which is fine. It's just like, you know, you can just, you can clean those up pretty easily. Oh, hype train. Wait, what? Did we have a hype train? What's happening? It's Twitch. Hello? It's a decent summary of how to play. Yeah, but the problem is I didn't know that the towers wouldn't shoot when the turn is done. I'm pretty sure, chat, I'm going to, well, you guys are going to betray me. I'm not going to give my new strategy out. I was going to give my new strategy, but I'm pretty sure I'm ready. I'm ready for the next round. 
Why are there branches? I want the smelly EXE. He knows how to do it, but he doesn't know what he's doing. Did you get Twitch partnership? I don't, I don't know what you mean. Twitch partner? I'm a Twitch partner, yeah. But I've been Twitch partner for a while, so I don't know. Like, there's a lot of stuff where I think this game is kind of scuffed. I'm ready for the upcoming Twitch tours. I'm pretty confident Prime has a lot of bugs in this game too, chat. I'm just throwing it out there. Okay. Um, I am him. I am you can know I both things and be lazy. Yeah. Nigel, like, like okay. I'm just throwing it out there. Times Many times where T uh, level nine tower just disappeared with no level nine tower in sight. He's like, well, there was other level nine towers. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't, that doesn't really make sense. You know? How could that happen? None of the explanations he gave made any sense. Well, so what I was working on, chat, um, I was writing uh, a blog post about uh, Failwind. Why that you read the rules from source code? Yeah, well, this is not up to date. It's not up to date. Wherever the source code went, it's not up to date. I, he definitely did not see it. Yeah, I want to start my doing my own. I just saw your video on creating for some point is down. What do you mean it's down? It definitely. I don't. I haven't taken down any videos. What? I'm in fact a genius. I have my flight on Sunday. Okay, that's what I thought because we confirmed a lot of times that the date would be the right time. So, thank you for just about giving me a heart attack today. But I'm glad that I let you know so that you didn't miss your flight by going on the wrong day. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm feeling a lot more relaxed now, chat. Holy cow. Holy cow. Okay. Well, that's good. Thanks, Prime. I, I'm just glad that moment happened on stream. You guys can finally understand a little bit more about our corporate culture. You know, that's sort of the corporate culture going on at terminal.shop. Uh, you guys get a little glimpse behind the curtain, a little behind the scenes action. You know, a little Wizard of Oz pulling back the curtain situation here. And you can really see uh, what's going on. Culture. <laughs> All right, okay, let's <laughs> <laughs> Check your Discord DMs. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I'm not going to share it with you guys. Sorry. Spicy. <laughs> Is the coffee from Terminal Shop worth it and does it trip to Canada? Uh, I think it's great. Uh, I, we wouldn't be selling it if I didn't think so. Um, and I think we are shipping to Canada, but the the Mounties at the border have been stealing it lately. Any tips for FC Neom set up in Monterey for 300,000 files? Everything FCF, RG is so slow. Do you use VS workspaces for the most part? Even with like not, not using telescope, just like FCF and stuff. Conflict of interest. Yeah. Uh, like I like it, of course. Someone like Tail and Social, they added it to Neo Neovim. Okay. Yeah. So chat. So let me just give you, I'll give you the rundown. What well, company owner would say no? Yep. Well, yeah, it's an impossible question for me to answer and you believe the answer, but when does it come to Europe to to, to the shop? Um, I don't know. So anyways, here's what we, here's what I've been working on. It all started with this tweet from you guys can blame Bun for this. Like seven seconds. That's pretty tough. So you're saying not using telescope, just using FCF. Yeah, I the whole Europe laws situation, I don't know anything about it. It's not for me. With telescope. Okay, you should try using FCF instead. There's some some problems with like gigantic things with telescope. Fail when completed. Um, it's not completed, but I'm writing a lot of stuff. I don't know, I have both. Uh, so anyways, this is where it started. So you can thank Bun for this. And so I thought, why, why not try, right? So like here's doing key maps, right? Like key maps. You know, you got command, you can do leader queue, you can set terminal ones. Um, 
This is Obsidian. It's all just Markdown files. I have a few uh, fun blog posts about it soon. You can read some stuff there uh, about it, like uh, how I got these cool highlights and stuff. But uh, but yeah, so you can do a bunch of stuff here. So I just wrote one about options today. Terminal dot smuggle. Honestly, that's we're less likely to get sued. What's failwind? It's configuring NeoVim with CSS. So like you can set your options like this. So this is like setting options, right? You can set options for particular file types. So like this is for CSS files. Here's for Lua JavaScript and TypeScript, right? These get set like when you edit one of those files, it'll get set locally for you. Um, and you can even import other people's options. So then I was writing up the summary of um, how you can automatically install plugins with Failwind. So this is uh, how you can do, this is somehow saying, I know. Uh, as I mentioned here, Failwind is a half mean, half, half meme, half try hard project to make CSS look like a really appealing configuration language for NeoVim. Um, it's still in between half meme, half try hard. Right? So wait, wait, just hodl yourselves, right? Okay, hodl. Because as we go a little further, I think you're gonna like this. Okay, so here we go. So here's plugins set up, right? So this automatically installs mini NVIM for you and then run, then sets up these two, right? So this is like the same thing as doing this, right? Here's an example of custom setup, right? So you do plugins, this is Lewis get signs. So then it's like set up with get signs. So that's the equivalent of doing this. Right. Um, this one's pretty fun. You guys are going to like how cursed this one is. So this calls config after you've installed the plugin, right? And what does vim dash command dot color scheme do? Um, so it's equivalent, uh, to, oops. Whoopsies, whoopsies, whoopsies. Oh, am I hitting? Oops, I just hit a bunch of buttons with my keyboard on my knee. There we go. Um, equivalent to somehow install Tokyo Night, right? After loading the plugin, vim.command.color scheme, Tokyo Night. So if you call a function in Failwind with dashes, they all get replaced with dots. <laughs> Because you don't have namespace functions in CSS, right? So how can you do it? You you use kebabs. You're transpiling? No, it interprets it. Um, so actually, someone said, make a kickstart with this. Dash is the dodge closure mentioned. Right here. Yeah, but we already have this. You guys are going to like this a lot, okay? You're going to like this a lot. I'll get, I'll, I'll just do the, I'll do the sneak preview. Because this is this is the ending of this. Um, plugins import. Um, it's 2024 now, and managing your own plugin configuration and installation is a chore. With Failwind. Dot Envim, we can outsource that management to other people. Just like Tailwind outsources knowing things and learning CSS to other people. Right? Uh, using uh, CSS's built in <clears throat> uh, at import syntax and feature queries, we can instruct Failwind to download the corresponding repo find the init.css from that repo parse and load the filtered uh configuration and then use that configuration in your own file 
So, when we have something something like this this will take all of the plugins in my kickstart css project right and include them into my own configuration but we can take this one step further we can filter the plugins that we want to install by using a feature query. So if we pass a list of plugin and or group names, we can filter out what items we want to install. In this example, we install only get signs and the LSP configuration, all associated plugins from my kickstart CSS pro project. What do you think about that chat? What do you think about that? Hmm? Hmm? And, and it works, by the way. It works. Here's, here's the example. So here is my, here's a project that uses the Kickstart CSS, right? Let's remove Tokyo Night and we'll open CSS again. No color scheme. Uh, let's go to somewhere. Let's go to that actual um, config CSS engine. Right, so we open this, no color scheme, right? Now we save this again and we open it, we open it anew. Co-founder of Terminal Shop, but mostly memer. True. Kablammy. That's a whammy kablammy moment there, chats. So yeah. Right? If we remove the LSP, now when I open this again, there's gonna be no LSP that shows up, right? So you get the whole entire LSP setup. The whole LSP setup. Just by adding this LSP line here. What is that annoyingly good looking diff view there in the terminal? Uh, I don't know, which one did I do? This one? This is a Delta, if that's what you're talking about. So there you go, chat. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. So yes, we can literally use CSS imports. Actually, we're CSS mains now. We're CSS mains. Nice. Okay, I'm ready. Are you you're gonna go start streaming again? Are you, you're turning stream back on, Prime? Do I need to re-rate everybody back to you? <laughs> No stream. True. Now, Prime, you have to actually be super careful not to leak your token. <laughs> oh, can you imagine how mad they would be? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <sighs> oh. Prime, what if you were still streaming right now on accident? What if you had accidentally been streaming the whole time? <laughs> Forgot to turn stream off. <laughs> oh, man. He just leaked it, but they're like 500 cars long. Okay, well, that's good. That's good. Okay, that's good. Prime, what are you, did you, were you following along for what I was talking about for CSS? New meta, make secrets so long they go off the page. Smart. What do you think? Pretty funny, right? It's super cursed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, all right. So of course it wouldn't be NeoVim without overly, uh, complicated key maps 
and a litany of custom functions that only I like and will fight to the death about them being objectively better than whatever naming scheme Prime comes up with. Right? Prime, by the way, I had such a good one earlier today. Where did it go? Dang it. Where is the primogen? <laughs> Who's been the worst prime minister or president in your lifetime? Not sure if he's a minister or not, but the worst prime is definitely the primogen. <laughs> Except LSP part. That was cool. Okay, nice. Uh, okay, now that you said that, I take it back. I hate that LSP part. <laughs> oh, man. How many other people pulled down the Envim Kickstarter and has done literally nothing to change the default config? I don't know. It's a pretty good default config, I think. Thought 13 was the worst prime? Could be. Could be. Um, Prime, did you see this one too? Sometimes dreams really do come true, chat. This is like, <laughs> we've been, you've even saw the tweets with the dates and everything. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, st I still, still sweaty. Still sweaty thinking you were, you had some commitment where you wouldn't be able to come. And you're speaking, you're speaking. Oh man. I need to practice dribbling. Th please. 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 I know you're literally speaking at Larica. Laracon. Laracon sold out on stage. <laughs> Prime got his dates wrong and, and thought that this was way later, but it's he has the right tickets and the right dates and he will be there. So that's good. Chat, you want to see something cool, though? What the heck? Community sponsors? What? <laughs> That's me, chat. That's me. I'm a community sponsor. <laughs> Where'd you get money? So... My buddy was already going to go down to the conference. Actually, he's going to be there anyways. Maybe he's going to be our coach if we can't find a coach. And um, and we were like, is the difference between a ticket and a community sponsor worth the meme? We decided yes. <laughs> so put me up for official community sponsor, chat. I'm an official community sponsor of Laracon. Right there. Pretty cool. It was you no, know, it was not five thousand dollars a month. That would be sweet though, if I had that kind of money for a meme. Chat, we have so many good things planned. So many good things planned. I cannot wait for you to see all of them. Um, anyways. Anyways. Yes, Prime. Laravel plus view. I think it's pretty popular. Yep. Tier 3 sub money for Laracon. Exactly. I think we should do the Mr. Beast idea at React Miami. The one that we've been talking about for a long time. Next year. Prepare for it. Get ready. Do it. Okay. At Dax's house? <laughs> I think we might need a bigger venue. <laughs> oh, that would be pretty hype. We'll have to we'll have to rent out a bigger venue. Can't tell you what it is, chat. Squid Games. We do it at the conference. Ooh. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah, but Johnny, you have to subtract the difference between what a ticket was. Because my friend was already going.
Just to get a feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of terminal shop, did the stripe bug get fixed? What stripe bug? Do sponsors get fancy badges? Oh, that's such a good question. I don't know. One dollar mistake versus one billion dollar mistake. That's actually a good video idea. I don't know if I get a fancy badge. I hope so. But actually, I won't be the one that gets it. It'll be my friend who's going in my place. Four coffee blends when? Can't tell you right now. But just be on the lookout. Did you get about a while ago now? Oh, um, I'm not sure. It's not fixed yet. What about teas? Uh, nothing on the horizon right now. Prime, have you pushed everything? Uh, yeah, I did see that. Yep. Let's be. Um, Prime, did you push everything from your game? I kind of wanted to look at it. But we also... Okay, so chat, check this out. My buddy um, sent sent us some uh, sent us some updates to our game. Look at this. Except something's wrong with the scaling because he doesn't have 4K screen, so it's something's wrong with the scaling. So we need to sort that out. Should we just do a little bit of Odin for today? Should we just do a little bit, a little bit of Odin, a little bit, a little bit of game, a little bit of gaming? Hmm? What? I think we do. I think, I think, I think we're up for some Odin time. Okay. Writing a game in Odin. Done. Commands. Edit. Today. Writing a game in Odin. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, let me start up my other streams because I was not prepared. I was not prepared to stream. Uh, writing a game in Odin. Boom. Start the YouTube stream. I got to ping the discords. Oh, no. What are people talking about already? At everyone gonna work on the Odin game for a bit today. There we go. Publish. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, all right, and then I need to also start x.com. Building a game in Odin. I don't know. Esports and video games, sure. Everyone. On. Great broadcast. Start. Writing a game in Odin. Okay. Here we go. All right. Thank you, Ibra. That's what I'm saying as well. That's what I'm saying as well. Okay. So where are we right now? Odin, my din? Exactly. All right, so it would be good to figure out what, like, what is this? This is CLSP Dodgers, plays with fast and small screens, probably in one of relative coordinates, so it's not based on pixels. Probably a good idea. What are you using for split? No, it's just Neovim. Okay, so the first thing is we do need to set it so that, um, I don't know why these aren't scaling wide enough. They need to be twice as big still. Thanks, Dan. Because my buddy just made this, so I don't know why. We should change, like, a few things. The first thing I actually wanted... Oh, nice, Petri. What's up?
height, width is height times this. Lane width is width divided by length of lanes. That was your code. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know what... Um... Well, we, let's sort that out later. What I actually wanted to check right now, Odin Lang, I wanted to go to docs and I wanted to check out um, using. Because I wanted to try this in a struct to see how this works. Where is using? Using statements with structs, this one. I wanted to try this here. Because I think... What's up, Diablo? I had, I had some questions about how does this actually even work? Um, like, and what, what compiles and what doesn't compile for this. So let's just check some of this out really quick. Let's do like something like, um, let's do something like, I don't know, example struct. And we can say X int Y int something like this. Right. And then we say contains example. Right, and this would be something, whoops, uh, struct. And this would be like using example. And then we say like Z int or something like this, right? But what, how am I supposed to do this? Using entity. Using, oh, I see. Using example, example. Okay, got it. Then no terminal, uh, ghosty. So I did want to, I did want to try this, um, try out this like idea here, right? Because it's sort of like, okay, so proc or, or something, let's do like, um, prince example or something like this proc example, and we can go print. It's not print. What, what's the like fumped one? Fumped print line. Okay. So this I think works, right? When we do like whatever proc. We can say like um, ex example. We can also do contains. Uh, contains example. And we should be able to do prints example ex and con here, right? And this compiles just fine. Uh, I don't, I don't know that I notice a huge difference. You can also do using example. Interesting. Okay. So similar inheritance without the firmware variables or unknown struct layout using entity entity using, using fields can still be referred to by name. Uh, okay. Well, let's, let's actually try this with example here. Cause I do want to see this. So if I go con dot X. I can also go con.example.x, right? Both of those are fine. Write the name of the function before declaring the intent of making it a function. What do you mean? You're saying this is the thing that it is, and then now I tell you what it is. It's kind of like, it's still private. Uh, you have to get in the Discord, Lispy. Uh, if you go to like uh, Mitchell H's uh i there i think there's a there's a way to get into the discord and request it yeah i guess i don't i don't really i don't i don't get what's so crazy about doing this like you can do this in other languages local x is function lua like there's tons of languages that let you declare an identifier first and then put that it's a function beforehand If you're actually interested in knowing uh, why, you can read identifier. Where is it? Um, declaration. This one. Here you go. It's a great, great article. Okay. All right. So these all work just fine. One thing I was interested in knowing is does this continue working? 
So if I say nested uh, example, and I go struct, and I say using uh, contains example, and we say foo int again, something like this, right? If I also go nested, what's the game about? Um, it's uh, it's about uh, it's it's like uh, the scam shooter games, except we'll try and make it not a scam. But anyways, okay. So now I should be able to go nested dot x suite, and I should be able to go prince example nested. Oh, that is really nice. All right, Petra, you see this? So this means we can do something like. Um, body, right? And this is like, uh, body RL rectangle, right? And then we can say like velocity or something, right? And you can say, I don't know. I don't know what we'd want to have some vector to with its X, Y velocities, right? Like X f32 y f32 like this right so then you could have something like sprite which would be like using body using velocity um with like texture rl texture right so now anything that takes a body and velocity right maybe this should be something like entity or screen thing or something like this right so like a bunch of these a bunch of them should work like just fine with uh with this right using pos to yeah, yeah we can do pos as well like that is fine too all right because we can we can we it already does the swizzle and everything right we'll pro we might turn it into like a vector two anyways because i can i can do x and y on it anyways so well that's really convenient because I had this problem earlier, basically, where I thought it was really annoying. Um, and so maybe we can write some of these quite a bit differently. Yeah, Odin has a lot of things that are really cool. So, for example, X uh, int, like this, right? Or X int 5. Those both work, right? Because these are the same thing. See how this is the same? If it has a colon afterwards, right, it's really the same thing. Or x5. This works too, and it's inferred to be an int. Right? See how the int is just left out because it gets inferred? This is all the same. Right? Or x5. This tells you, hey, this thing is a constant. It will always be this thing. I think it's pretty nice, actually. There's a lot of symmetry in it. Which I think that part's really good. Okay. Um, yeah, it's all exactly the same. So if you can figure out the scaling thing, issue is the game didn't fit on my 1080p, and then I re scaled the window. The game was blazing really fast. <laughs> That's pretty funny, yeah. Okay, so what I wanted to try and do here is I think it's probably worth player is a little bit different than everybody else. Um, Patrick, I don't know if you even saw this. Did you even see that you can press space and you can like switch? Oh, except I think I disabled it. Oh, it just doesn't draw two of them right now. Yeah, that's funny. We don't have it drawing two of them. I was playing with the concept. I still don't know exactly what I want to do. I wanted to do something like, so you've got your lanes like this, right? And here's your guy in the middle, right? I wanted to play with something where when you press space, he either like splits, right? Into like, you know, a half over here, like a half over here and a half over here. Or he like shoots one like in front of him like this. And then you control both of them together. Is that versus new of them? I don't think they're fighting. Happy to coexist. They're both really cool. 
right? So like when you pressed space, something would happen and these would split and you could, you could work with them together. So I think it's a cool concept. Um, but we didn't decide what we wanted to actually do in this scenario. So that part's kind of hard. Agar.io. I don't know. Agar.io. This one. Oh, I know this game. Yeah, yeah, I know this game. Uh, yeah, but it's like you're still doing the shoot. You're still doing the shooting, right? So it's like maybe then when you split... When you press, like, go to the right, this one goes to the left. Right? So it's like you can split fire down different, down different rows. You know what I'm saying? So you can be tackling multiple different bosses at the same time. Using some sort of game engine? Nope, just Odin and then Raylib for displaying stuff. Get you guys understand what I'm saying? I couldn't figure out it, what made sense because then I also wanted to do stuff like, what if we put it so there was like a box here, do, 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 and then this guy couldn't move or he couldn't get past there, right? So you could like move to the right, but he would stay in the middle. Right, you know what I'm, you guys know what I'm saying, right? It's just like we move to the right and this guy has to stay in the same spot because there's a box. What do you think of Odin? It's cool. I've only written one day of it, but. So I don't know. I'm still not sure what I want to do with this. I don't know. Or like, do we do the split thing in one row and you can move left and right? I'm not sure. Because the other option would be like you have a, you have your rows here. You've got your guy in the center here. You press space, you turn into these green blocks, these small ones, right? And then this guy goes away. And then you could, you can increase your distance, right? So you could be like this far apart. You could like move to the left and then this one would be here. You could keep on moving. I don't know. I don't know. Or we just don't do anything with the split thing. I'm not sure. Does no one in chat has any thoughts about which one would be fun? Hello, you guys usually yap so much and no one has anything to say. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Number two, this one. Yap, 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 yap. I do think that one is cool, right? I haven't paid attention. Okay, we'll do this one. Too busy getting street creds on the ghosty discord. Smart, 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 smart. Good call. Okay, we will try this method then. Left goes right seems the best option. Dang it. All right. Make anything, figure out later. Well, we do have something. We already have this. Big L. Oh, lithium? I died of Ligma? Does Prime know that that's my... <laughs> I don't know if Prime even knows that that's my gifty sound. <laughs> I don't know if he's still here or not. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we already we already have something. Don't worry. Hello, Arcane? Put the sound in the game when you die. Oh, that would be good. That would be good. All right, well, let's try... Let me think about this. Let me think about this. We can try the split mode. So I already have the split mode. Um, where do I have uh, speed or something? Just so I can do enemy speed. Don't I have something where it's like enemy speed? Because when I press space here, 
I already have a thing where I split in two sides. We just aren't drawing it. We aren't drawing anything with it. Um, draw player? Player draw, probably. The real question would be, if we're going to do a split, does it make more sense to model it as multiple player objects or as one player? Well, let me hear up to the nine hour manual video. <laughs> Thank you. Or does it make more sense to have like a player's object? I should have player and it should have multiple bodies. That would be smarter. That would be much smarter. Wonder if you can do the 1 million 3x plus 1 ranges. Can challenge an Odin someday? I don't know what that is. What's up, Nautilus? Um... Okay. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's change player. Player should instead have player stuck with body one, body two field, or main body if one is the user controlled one. Yeah, so I think we're gonna do the method where basically what will happen is like you have you have body whoops uh like a rectangle here, and when you press split, it's gonna switch you to like two of them here, right? And it's like okay, so this is left. When you press left. They both move to the left. Oops, let's draw it more up here. Like, do do do, do do. Not, and then you press like right. They both move to the right. But you can expand the distance between them too, I think, with up and down. I still think that's kind of like a cool concept. So we're going to do that. Do we want a hard code that we can only have two? Or is it going to be possible to get like three? Maybe there's an upgrade that lets you still keep the guy in the middle. You know? I don't know. I, I'm trying to be careful about Yagni. You know, chat? Like, I don't want to do... I don't want to get myself in trouble here. <clears throat> Throw too hard code. That's kind of what I'm thinking. But the problem is, some of the time, we're only going to have one. So, I like, I almost think it's better to go... Um, bodies like this. Can I go like this? Three. Maybe. Uh, body. Can I do this? Odin build dot. Can I do that? Okay, cool. Right, because then we can make everything just... We'll just do it over, like, iterate over it. Right? That would be fine. I think it's honestly easier to do it in an array... I guess we could go. It's like we'd split it and we could just calculate where each of the bodies should be, right? Like, oh, we want to move left. Can this one move left? No, it can't. Oh, can this one move right? Yes, it can. That's kind of what that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, <clears throat> wait, why is frame on the player? Oh, that's how far we're like moving it over. Oh, there's a bunch of different animation ones. Got it. Got it. What's up, Lukey? I love Notepad Plus. Has tabs and too many complicated things. Doesn't even have similar mode, where as many files open neatly. Yeah, you can open a lot of files at once and use tabs if you want. Time frames. Check when to move to the next frame. Got it. <clears throat> got it. Got it. Got it. Um, okay. 
Because this also is like a lot simpler because we can just go like player intersects, rectangle. We can just check each of the bodies. It's quite a bit different than Notepad, but like it's possible to do everything you do in Notepad in here. Could make your own fixed length arrays, which tracks length. So you just automatically iterate through that up to length. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's basically what we do here. We would just check if it's not nil. You know what I mean? Because it has this concept of maybe. Um, it's either T or nil, right? So we can do something like this. And we can, we can like, that's totally fine. And it has a few things inside of here that we can, we can use. Cause that's, that's basically what I'm thinking there. <clears throat> uh, it's mo monster cat chill. All right. So let's try something. Yeah. Maybe we try that. Oh, before we do that, we should move everything to be like actually using a body. Oh, din, my din. Because this is what we want to do. This is like, this is so nice. This is like so practical. Such a nice idea. Um, I think we're fine with everything just having basically like a rectangle hitbox. You know what though? Now that I'm thinking of it. Oh no, I guess it's like we want to be able to shoot in between bullets and stuff like that. So it's better it's better just do rectangle collisions. That's easier. Oh, let's just leave this this way for right now. Oh, but we don't want to do that. We want to say something like um Velocity X or something like this. Oops, wrong button. But do we even want to put, do we want to even put these in separate ones? I don't want to do too many things. I'm, I'm worried I'm going to let myself write too many abstractions. That's not the point of Odin. That's not the point of Odin. Let's go to enemy. Oops. Here, and it has a body and it has a speed. Which like it's dumb. It should have a. It just has act. It just has yeah. It should not do that. And it should also have a texture. It should be a sprite basically. <clears throat> velocity x, velocity y, using body, velocity and texture. Okay, so this is fine, right? So it's like okay, so it has a texture. So it's a sprite. So it can do bodies and it has velocities, right? So it's like okay, so we go back to here and we just say using sprite. Back to it, make things easier. Can you overload an Odin? Right here. Uh, we can actually, we can, we can't overload, but there is some stuff that we can do where we say, um, well, we can just play around with what makes the most sense. Like maybe it makes more sense to say uh, velocity. And we say to F32 like this. Like maybe that's better. There's some like automatic casting and swizzling and stuff. And I think this one will find. I hate abstractions, but I can't stop using them. I love them. I love them. So we don't need body and we don't need speed anymore. What kind of game are you making? Uh, you know, the like scam game ads where it shows someone shooting in the lanes. We're making that. Um, because now we can just do something like Sprite or something like... Um, see, this doesn't even make sense. This should just go directly into body. There's no reason not to have this. We'll just put velocity inside of here. Delete more things. Smush them back. And really, if I'm thinking about it, is there anything that's not going to have a texture that we need to draw? Probably just going to need to draw everything. Let's just call this Entity. I'll just put texture right here. 
we go down to where we say sprite here and let's just say entity okay we'll just do this for now this is basically something that can get drawn on the screen so this is like basically um tick entity right so it's like okay we're going to move the body by this much right so we're going to say um body dot oh uh entity dot body we can just say dot x plus equals sure it's fine entity dot y whoops I think for both of these, I can also do dot X and dot Y. Entity has no field. What does rectangle have? Doesn't it have X and Y? Oh, I need to, I would need to say using RX rectangle. Nice. I actually like that. That's even better. That's even better. Ubar Baz of programming. this with Bartosh oh my goodness that's a that's a oldie holy cow one of my good friends haven't talked to him in a while I should message him okay so this is good this is taking entity right so this is like how would we do this then we can have draw uh let's actually change this to entity pick now we'll have entity draw Right, and this is gonna basically be like R all draw texture. I don't know which one. Which one have we been using? Draw texture. Mm, it's kind of annoying because like, okay, how are you gonna do that? Can we even make that one generic? I'm not sure that we can. We have draw enemy, enemy draw. Odin better than okay. Well, very different languages. Very different languages. See, I tried bold MMA strategy. I know. We, I was so ready to do it today, too. Fortunately, Prime chicken out. Oops, entity. What? Odin does not look sexier than Ocam. But it does look pretty nice. Are you, by the way, Rust Preacher like Prime has been? I still think Rust is good for uh, lots of domains. Same that I have thought for a long time. Turrent. We already did that, actually. Plus equals insects, you're not going to blast me. Exactly. Prime hates Rust again. Uh, that's because Prime keeps trying to use it for weird projects. What do you think of GCC including Rust compiler? I didn't know they were doing that. Okay. <clears throat> Gleam native binaries one. I don't know. So now what's cool, right, is if we have our enemy here, right? We should be able to do entity draw enemy. Right? And I can just delete this. And this would be entity tick enemy. And then we can just do this and we can say if feeling that rust is not the best default lang yeah there's lots of applications where it would be tough to write it in rust it gives your most useful trick in vim being able to read the docs You can read the Vimdocs. Nice, real. Great minds think alike.
enemy dot velocity times eight so they'll go slower uh velocity is zero and five something like this velocity uh there's no x there's only y velocity Velocity tray. Maybe body. Okay, well, we haven't done this one yet, so we have to decide what we want to do for that. Okay. Being able to read the docs for nine hours. Yeah. Reading? Give me the exe. Mine's terminal, so I can open Emacs. Very smart. Is there a light functional programming for Cly apps, Cly game? Want to experiment with functional programming for hobby? I mean, I think OCaml is pretty pragmatic. I don't know if you'd like it or not, but. Okay, nice. So we're not. Oh, we never loaded the texture. That makes sense. We forgot to load the texture chat into the um, enemy. When we make a new enemy, where did we do that? Right. So this should be like new enemy. Enemy make. Uh, enemy. Oh, where did we do this? Let's take this. Save space by calling it foe. Smart. Um, and uh, texture is enemy texture. Uh, so then we want to say something like uh, body is RL is a RL rectangle, health, velocity, oops, um, I guess that's a F32, and velocity is a velocity, what did I call this over here? Can I do this? Does this work? Is this a thing? I mean, it's a constant, right? So it seems like it should be. Well, that's cool. Sweet. Um, so then this should be body, health, velocity, enemy, mate. Enemy make. Is it change surrounding? Oops. Surrounding chain. I I for, I am still working on the change surrounding replace. Ah, SR, not SR. This. Okay. SR, that's the one I want. What font is that? Good question. Oops, enemy make. Get for foo is terrible. <laughs> just, I just add you as a contributor. Uh, paid, paid font. You paid for something, guys, 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 everyone. Um, I don't think this can. I forgot if this is, uh, 
Hello? Where did my passkey go? Why is it not doing it? Hello? Uh. Oh, that's because it was on a different... Oh, but freaking security! Seven factor off, here we go! All right, there we go. PJ, you're just PJ last on here, right? Yep, okay. All right, user has already been invited. What? Okay, well, there you go. You shouldn't have to do, you can just, you can just push on here directly. Yeah, I have some problems with fonts. They don't have enough emojis for Kickstart. What do I do? Patch them. You should just use a terminal that lets you do a fallback font. Just ask hackers to hack your account for you. Smart. 11 more pass keys left. We're almost there. I'm almost logged in. Okay, almost pretty people. It feels enterprisey. Interesting. <clears throat> I noticed a week ago when I tried to log in. <laughs> <laughs> all right do we have this we're still not drawing them for some reason why are we not drawing them enemy texture we load it okay enemy make when we do enemy draw, we should be doing entity draw, enemy. We should be doing this. Texture, 2D, position, rotation, scale, hint. Is this not what we were doing before? <laughs> Sad that Electricity still doesn't have a fault. Yeah, Westrom has it, Ghosty has it. A bunch of them I think are, are great, yeah. <clears throat> This isn't okay. Well, you're right. It's Odin. Entity texture. Is it drawing it somewhere completely wrong? It does start with an O though. I thought that this is what we were doing before. It should be draw enemy. Which should take something that has an entity. Do, 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 do. I mean, we're clearly drawing these in the right spot, right? Enemy.body.x. So then why this one doesn't seem like it's working? Print line. Enemy.texture. Format unknown. Okay, well, that's not right. <laughs> Turns out that's not right, chat. Enemy texture. We do have a PNG file there. Does this get loaded? Oh, I did this afterwards. This needs to get set like here. That's why. It's too late. There we go. Look at that. Shoot it! Okay. Ah! I think I just found a new CVE. Here goes my day. Nice. Have fun, Alex. There's not a block with. Nice. Okay. Block size 32, sprite scale 3.5. Okay. Okay. Seems good to me. We can try that. Is this Puppet? The song? Yeah. Mm 
Enemy draw. This is the one that I want. I don't want to do this. We'll just copy this. Or we'll just comment this for now and see if it's drawing correctly. Okay, so we have spawn. Block size, block size. Okay. So we want to do... We want to take this line. Put it here. Then we can do this. And we'll delete all of those. Okay, that's good. It's going to be the same thing for these here. So we'll yoink this, put this here, and we'll delete that. It's fine. Yep, that I had hard coded with. This is not block size, block size. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Bada boop. Bada boop. Bitty beep. Bitty beep. Bitty beep. Bitty beep. Bitty beep. Bitty beep. Doop. Beep. Boom. Bop. Boom. Beep. Oh, whoops. Too many. Oh, ho, ho, now we're talking. Little bit off center, but I think like it's fine. We can sort that out later. Nice. Now we're talking. All right, so I push, I push that back up. because you're not using my draw enemy texture code it's probably right enemy draw so what did you have before draw texture pro enemy texture 003232 enemy dot body dot x enemy body text block size block size so probably we need this one right i think this was the one that you had before This should be an entity, entity dot texture. We can just do entity X, entity Y, zero, zero. Okay, we'll try that. Oops. Entity. Oops. There we go. Oh, we're not doing any damage. Oh, we got him this time, boys. Boom, big W. Okay, nice. All right, so that's pretty cool. It's a lot of indentation to go three indents. Right here. Right here. But just because it's just because it's wide. Here, there you go. Now it's not a lot of indentation. Does that make you feel better? I think about programming. I think I have to detox myself from gaming. For real, I already don't use social media. Smart. Do it, Luki. Sixteen tab width for the pros. True. got herself we got to do a little set no wrap just really discourage the indentation you know what i mean like we don't we don't really want people to be able to like it kind of makes it so you don't think about what's going on inside of the loop you know what i mean it's like you're focusing on the loop or you're focusing on the body focusing on the loop or you're focusing on the body like that kind of makes sense you know, like I'm becoming what the code is. It's so focused. Did someone say focused. How would you say your mental focus is? Oh, it's focused. focused. <laughs> <laughs> Make each line its own function. 
Now we're talking, chat. Coding. We coding now. What kind of game are you developing? Uh, the scam kind. This one. Ah! Ah! Split! <laughs> okay, so now we could work on... Now we... Oh, I wanted to also change... Um, what's... Uh, why we called it a status. Entity. This should probably get changed to like status kind. And then it, it should just be a status here. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Although this is probably fine too. Using entity entity. Boom. Everything should actually still work. Code and build. Oops. Okay, but now what we should be able to do is we can say um, entity tick status like this instead. I'm out there's further weirdness. Throw an issue in the repo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of fun. Okay, sweet. Yeah, yeah. I think, um, don't you think this is awesome? This like very simple sub subtyping stuff. Like this is really great. This is ex this is like the exact level you want in alternative to C. You know, this makes it a lot simpler. Uncle Bob would be proud. Well, it's not inheritance, so he wouldn't be, and they're not objects, so he still wouldn't be. As a dummy, I get inspired only of complex code. Wow. <laughs> hey. Fancy meeting you here at the end of the video. Just go ahead. Give it a smash. You know. The, 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 wow. The like button. You can make fun of me in the comments for that one. I don't even care because you made it to the end of this video. Thanks, everybody. See you.